Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a screen capture program you could use that does much more than just capture screenshots. So it's called ShareX. It's free to download. So they have an installable version and a portable version. So I have the installed version running right now. So if I open it up here, you can see there are quite a few menu items here. And then when you first open it up, you'll be shown the hotkeys for performing certain types of captures such as capturing a region, entire screen, active window, and so on. So this will actually record video as well as images. So when you click on capture, you have some options here. Even the screen recording, scrolling capture, auto capture, show the cursor. You have a screenshot delay. Now you have this upload option here. So when you upload a file, for example, it'll go to your upload destination, which is shown right here. So by default, here is the image uploader and then you could change which site you want to have it upload to. But of course, you're going to have to configure the login for this to work. Uh, same for text. And then there's the file uploader option. So if you do a video, this will apply to that right there. Default is Dropbox. Then you also have some destination settings. If you want to go add your login information. Okay, then you have your workflows here. If you want to select one of these, capture the region, capture your entire screen, and so on. Instead of pressing the uh, shortcut keys, you could come here. Okay, then you have some tools here. So a lot of tools. So if you want to do like a color picker or a screen color picker, let's say we want to find this red here. You can see it gives you the RGB, the hex number, and so on. And then if you click on it, it'll copy it to the clipboard for you. And if you want to do a ruler, let's say you want to measure here to here. It'll tell you the X and Y axis, the width and pixels, height and pixels, area, and so on. We have video converter, image effects, OCR capabilities, pen to screen, image editor. So if we open an image file, Let's say it's just this one here. And you can see all these tools we have up here to edit the image. Plus some options. So here are your after capture tasks. So you can decide what's going to happen after the image or video is captured. So right now, after capture task, save image to file. After upload task, you have some options here. We saw the destinations. Here's the application settings. All kinds of options there. You can check those out on your own. Hotkey settings. Similar to what we see here. Uh, your screenshots folder, your history, your image history, and so on. Okay, so let's just do a screenshot here. So I have this picture up here. Okay, so we'll use one of the hotkeys here. So we're going to capture region. So control and print screen. All right, so here's our picture here. If we go back to the app, it has it right there for us. And then we could right click on it. If we want to open another one from URL or file or folder, we could copy it, upload, download, edit it like we just saw, beautify, pin to screen, or remove from the list here, and so on. You could use Google Lens to try and find information on it. Double clicking on it will just let you view a larger image. Okay, so now let's try the screen recording. Okay, so we'll just, you could either do the whole screen or if you want to do just a region there. So it's recording right now. So if I open some stuff in front of it, move the mouse around, open a command box in front of it here, and we'll stop it. So you can see the share X here because I don't have Dropbox configured. So it's trying to upload it to Dropbox but it hasn't been configured yet. So that's why you get an error here. We can still double click it to open it. Just like that. And then if you don't want something, you could just clear it out of the list here and that'll clear everything out. 
Then if you click on screenshots folder, that'll take you to your screenshots folder where everything's kept by default in your documents under share X. And then you could work with your files from there. All right, so there is your quick overview of ShareX. So I will put a link in the description, then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.